Hey everyone, so I'm back in with another video. Uh, this time around I have something a little different. I'm not quite certain yet what I'm going to call this uh, video or video series. Uh, basically, I've talked about it in previous videos uh, where if I don't have enough to show in the way that I typically put out my videos, that is if I don't have uh, that much to show in terms of current and last gen games or retro games, or DVDs or whatever uh, that I'll just make one video compiling everything together so either I might go for something like recent pickups or maybe something a little bit more descriptive uh, but for the time being uh, I still haven't quite decided on that I'll have it decided by the time that I post this video uh, so basically here I have a collection of stuff that I've had sitting here for uh, some time and I just haven't really had the opportunity to put it in any one uh, sort of specific video so here it is all together so it's in no particular order in fact I'm probably gonna have to try to put it in some kind of an order um, I suppose I'll start out with this here it's a comic book that I got a little while back at the Salvation Army I typically go to it's Buffy the Vampire Slayer season eight number uh, issue number one. Um, I got this uh, for ninety nine cents. They actually had, uh, if I remember correctly, um, about thirty uh, issues in this series, and I wish I could have gotten all of them, but it would have just been way too much money to spend um, on comic books. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get at least number one. And then the next day when I went back, all the other ones were already uh, purchased. So I should have probably grab at least a couple more than just number one, because now it's going to be kind of difficult to track down the rest of them. But that's it there, um, issue number one, with just a couple of stickers on it. Uh, next, I honestly forget where I got this. I think I got it from a value village, but it might be wrong on, uh, on that. Um, it is a DVD uh, of an anime based on a video game for the Dreamcast. Um, I think this game was also in arcades, but I know it was definitely on the Dreamcast. I have the game. Uh, it's Power Stone, uh, The Last Battlefield. Uh, this one here, I don't know exactly... Uh, which sort of set of episodes it is. And there's five episodes on that one disc. Um, but in total, there's a couple uh, of these. I think there are maybe uh, five or so uh, DVDs in this set. But don't quote me on that. I just, I really don't remember at this point. Uh, but I do have, uh, including this one here, three of them now. So I'm piecing it together uh, one at a time. Um, I wish I could find more of them, but I uh, have surprisingly found uh, one of them three times, and that's just really annoyed me that I found that one three times. Uh, next up, I got uh, this PS4 game. Uh, nothing too special, but it is definitely a good game. It's The Walking Dead uh, Complete First Season Plus 400 Days. I believe that's supposed to be like the Game of the Year edition of it. Uh, I'm not entirely certain though if the uh, 400 Days is included on disc or if it was a download voucher that has since been used. Uh, but I got this for uh, 10 bucks. But I honestly forget what store I got it at. Uh, but I thought $10, I have played it before, and I do uh, have it on other systems, but I wanted to get the uh, PS4 version uh, so that maybe finally I could sit down and complete the whole thing, uh, Season 1 and Season 2 of it. Uh, next up, I have a set of games here that I got from a store called Buy and Sell Kings. Uh, they're all kind of uh, random here. I got two PS1 games, one DS game, and one Genesis game. Um, I guess I'll go from the least interesting to the most. Uh, for the Genesis, this one only cost me $1.99. Uh, it's hard driving. 
Um, it's just a pretty generic racing game. Uh, interesting enough, though, uh, and it's a Tengen or... Yeah, I'm going to call it Tengen. Uh, Tengen game as well. Uh, not in the best condition. The label is a little bit uh, chewed up on the top there, if you can see. Uh, but for $1.99, you can't really complain. Uh, as for the DS game that I got, I actually uh, have been trying to get this game for a while, but the prices just haven't been right. I saw it for um, eight dollars, and I thought at eight dollars, definitely fair enough. I think the cheapest I had seen it before uh, seeing it for eight dollars was like fifteen, sixteen dollars. So I thought now's the time to get it. Definitely got to get it now. Uh, it's Dig Dug Digging Strike. And I actually didn't learn until uh, this game here that uh, this guy here is the father of uh, Mr. Driller from, well, Mr. Driller. Uh, that's him on the back there, Mr. Driller, with his dad. Um, apparently he shows up in this game as like an ultra or special attack, something like that. Uh Otherwise, the uh, gameplay is pretty much straightforward, Dig Dug, uh, with a little bit of sort of updated fun to it, I suppose. Um, and this one here was complete with the manual as well. Uh, now, the last two games here, um, the first one isn't too interesting, but for the price, uh, I thought it was fair enough. Uh, the case is kind of bashed up, but the game itself is in pretty decent condition, and uh, it came with the manual as well. It's Populous The Beginning, um, and I got that for $2.99. Uh, don't know much about this game. I, I really was just looking through. Uh, they have a whole bunch of games priced at $2.99 as is at the store, but PS1 discs are very hardy. I find that even when they've been torn apart, they still work. Uh, but, I don't know, something about this sort of just grabbed my eye, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, now, the last game that I got here was also $2.99, uh, pretty much at this uh, store. They have a lot of as-is PS1 discs, uh, sometimes just single discs out of uh, multi-disc games uh, or just uh, games without cases like artwork or manual or anything like that and sometimes you might find something decent there and definitely I've been able to piece together some things um, uh, over the time that the store has been open I've gotten a decent amount of stuff from them uh, but this one here, uh, I suppose, is one of the better deals that I've gotten uh, from this store. So, also for $3, I got a copy of Strider 2 for the PS1. Uh, now, if you look at that, you're going to say, well, that's just Strider, uh, just the first Strider. Uh, but the sort of deal with this is that when they printed the North American discs... Uh, Strider 1 and Strider 2 uh, because uh, the game shipped out with Strider 1 on uh, a disc of its own and Strider 2 on another disc. Uh, it was a two disc game uh, basically with the first game and the sequel uh, packaged together but they labeled the discs incorrectly so that um, the discs with Strider 2 on it were um, labeled with just Strider, and the games with uh, sorry the game discs with Strider were marked as Strider too. So it sucks that I don't have the artwork for it or the other disc, but at least I got the uh, more important Strider too uh, for just three dollars, and I tested it out. The disc is actually uh, pretty much flawless. Uh, I see just very few. Uh, light scratches on there, but it's kind of hard to see, really. Um, it played perfectly well. I actually went ahead, played the whole game, and finished it. Uh, it only took about, uh, it was either like 40 to 50 minutes, about. Uh, it didn't take all that long, because it is just a port of an arcade game. 
Uh, so it's definitely one of those games that you can finish in one sitting. Uh, but it was pretty enjoyable playing it. Uh, but basically, that's what I got. A whole bunch of games in various conditions there. Uh, one more DVD of a series that I've been looking for. And a comic book in a series that I'm just sort of starting out with. Um, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all. And I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my 500 subscribers contest. It's linked in the description below. And also linked in the description below is a link to my uh, Facebook, Twitter, and website. I, I, I forget if I uh, said that already. I'm kind of... Uh, really tired right now and at a loss for words it's just really late and i thought i might as well uh put this out there um just one last thing before i go uh i was thinking again about doing uh sort of steam code giveaways uh just uh various steam keys for different uh games uh random pretty much uh, but I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this uh, exactly, but if you guys have any suggestions on how to do uh, this sort of giveaway, please just let me know in the comments section below, and uh, hopefully we can figure something out. And that's it. See ya.